Good morning and welcome to the coverage of YCS Liverpool 2016. It's the first, uh, second event of the season. I have to correct myself right there. Yeah. Second event of the season. First time back in the UK for two years. And um, it's going to be a party this weekend. We yeah. got more than 800 players. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot more than we were expecting. Yeah, you, your expectation was quite off, to be honest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, you kind of knew before we expected. It, it, it was a loaded expecting. question. I, yeah. uh, I actually knew the final count and I still asked Luke about, hey, well, how, do, how many players do you think we're going to have? Just, yeah. just to embarrass you. It's that's fine. That's it's the fine. kind of team player I am. Uh, hey, I'm happy we got this many players in the UK. That is true. Yeah, that is true. Um, in fact, we actually have some stats for you. We're not going to show them right away. Just uh, give us another second. Um, the big topic of the weekend, of course, is the rise of a new archetype. Yep. The new kid on the block, the ABC deck, and almost all the good good veteran players yep. um, went for this one. Yeah. What makes the deck yeah. that good? Um, it's just the colossal amount of advantage that you gain from playing just two cards. It's <laughs> it's just just playing even just having Union Hanger is can yeah, we can it's a we plus compare two. it to anything in the past? Um like the, the big rise of this new deck? Um Okay, not in the not in the way sense that I that just you said, but like as far as how it plays, it plays a lot like um Cosmo and it sounds weird, but it plays quite linearly. Mm -hmm. There's um there's very set combos. It's not like Pendulum where you could just pendulum summon five monsters and then we sat and scratched our heads for 20 minutes as to what are they going to do. Yep. You know, they could go into any number of Exceed monsters. Right. We still have a little bit of that with the fact that generally your opening play allows you to make one rank four Exceed monster. But doesn't that remind you a little bit of Dino Rabbit? In a yeah, way. Yeah, you're right. So, actually, yeah. so it's actually a flashback to YCS Brighton the first time when we were in the UK, 2011. So in, yeah. in that sense, it uh, mm -hmm. can be compared, I guess. Yeah. All right. Um, we have one of the veterans in our feature match for round one. Uh, mm -hmm. We can just show you real quick on our stat tool the pairing for the for the uh, round one, which is table 351. It's got it's a little bit of a tradition. You guys have seen this before. The last winner of a tournament in this country or the last winner of the last YCS, sometimes we do that instead, um, is in our feature match. So Marcello Barberi won YCS London with Shadows. With Shadows. Very innovative build of Shadows back then. Yeah. Yeah. And he's running the. Well, not a big blue elephant, but the ABC deck, the spelling bee. <laughs> um, and he's going up against Kyle Edward from the UK. Yep. So he's got the home advantage on his side. Who do you think this is going to favor? Well, I think I, I think that if anything, if it comes down to nerves, Marcello is certainly going to uh, yeah. be on top here because he's been sat on the feature match table All right. so often. We actually, thanks to the help of our dedicated volunteers, we already have many of the stats in, and also thanks to the help of our uh, programmer, so we don't want to um, forget him in that whole thing. And we got more than 400 players from the UK. You were super surprised about that. You were yeah. like, whoa, we have that many players? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, that's looking quite good, and they are definitely leading the field. I think we've never, almost never seen such a dominance from, from one country. The only thing that comes to mind, of course, is uh, Milan, Milan with, with many, many, yeah, many Italians, of course. Yeah, um, it was over eight. It was like eight, I think it was eight hundred and sixty-four Italian players. Right, came to Milan. <laughs> so, uh, and um, you might be wondering about all the players from China. Um, that is actually a choke you told me from the UK players. I think so. I think there's there's a, a little group of them that said, "Oh, I want to get a feature match, and I want the Chinese flag under my name." <laughs> <laughs> so okay, these guys are not going to get a feature yeah. match. Just However, sorry if uh, there is actually nine Chinese players. So okay, okay, <laughs> yeah. But if you're from the UK and you just entered China for funds and games, then you're not going to get a feature match. Yeah. This is what the metagame breakdown roughly looks like. We don't have... Yeah, we've got a few more decks yeah, that are still coming decks, in. So but the other category is actually a little bit bigger than it should be right now. So that's, that's kind of how our stats tool works right. out when we get players that haven't had their decks registered yet. But However, then, then again, we have like r roughly 20 different decks in there. So everything that yeah. is not among the top seven is going to be listed in the other category. Correct, yeah. So uh, maybe we have that many different decks, actually. But yeah, but who possible. knows? Yeah. But looking at this, um, it's actually... Almost exactly as expect as I expected before the event. All ABC right. at the top, um, blue eyes and metal fuzz. I wasn't too sure which way round they were going to go. Yep. Um, but in in the end, in my head, I did say ABC or blue eyes. Right. Um, metal fuzz, not as many as I thought they would. I thought that there would be more than blue eyes because um, because of the win in YCS Minneapolis. Oh uh, yeah. I, I was yeah. expecting. We've actually seen that a couple of times. That when when a deck wins the mm -hmm. event before. Yeah. All right, guys. So so this is some some great stats at the beginning of the day already. So we we 
normally we can present half of those only after round three to you, but mm -hmm. now we are not going in blindly, so to speak. We can yeah. immediately tell what this weekend is going to be like, roughly, in terms of um, country breakdown, of course, and the deck breakdown. Yeah. Although the country breakdown would have been easy to predict. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very easy. Um, we got these two guys. We got their deck lists yeah. right in front of us. Um, but the main event has already started, so um, let's take you guys to the table, and then we're going to continue talking and explain to you um, what makes their builds special, or if anything makes this deck special, because that's also one of the questions. Uh, is there just one best build of AB2? 